Welcome to the iPodcasters tutorial of the Boss Jock application for iOS. If you'd like to check out the podcast, you can catch it on iTunes. Also, you can visit us at theipodcaster.com for more information on gear, apps, how-tos, videos, and the like. I want to dive right in today and show you the Boss Jock Studio application for iOS. You will notice first off that my finger is going to be represented right over here on the right, going to be represented by that white dot. And so we'll click on the Boss Jock application. You'll notice when we first come into it that there is a series of carts here. There's 20 carts right now. You can actually come up here to the settings menu and change that to 35 carts if you'd like. And each one of these carts is a place where you can hold pre-recorded audio. For example, you can bring in something from uh, iTunes. Let's click on one of these in the bottom right-hand corner. And you'll notice that you can bring in something, music from your music library that you've loaded onto your iPad or iPhone. You also can bring something in from the recordings, music library recordings right here. That is music that has been recorded or brought into this application. And so, for example, these top three right here, that I'm pointing to, those are things that I've already recorded that I brought in. So is that one that says test, and we're going to make one here in just a few moments to test it out to show you. So you can bring them in from your music library, recordings, or this is cool, from Dropbox. And notice that I'm going to bring something in from Dropbox. I have already signed in, logged in to my Dropbox, and it remembers that for me. And so now here's the things that are listed in my Dropbox. I'm going to bring in this Help Me right here. This is a little Tweety Bird. It will download and import and then bring this box up that says the file has been imported and is now accessible via Recordings folder. So click OK. And now notice down here in the right-hand corner that Tweety Bird's ready to go. Help! Help! Somebody save me! Help! Well, there we go. Tweety Bird needs help. Now, notice also that on each one of these, there's a little X on the left-hand side, and there's a little gear for settings on the right-hand side. We'll click on that, and now this brings up what is in this cart. Notice that on the bottom down here is a WAV file that you can look to see what it is. Um, there's a fade in at the beginning, a fade out at the end. Notice right here, and I'm sorry, notice uh, right here, and then fade out is right here. Um, I'm going to take off, take that off, uh, up here. You'll notice here is a place for you to audition, uh, right, right in here. If you click that audition button, I won't do that. I'll save you from Tweety Bird again, and you can audition this. You can change the color of each one of these. We'll leave it red. And then notice the four things right here, the four, uh, buttons that you can either enable or disable. One of these is auto rewind. That's the first one. Uh, you can disable auto rewind, or you can leave it auto rewind enabled. What that means is in each one of the carts, once you stop that particular cart from playing, it will either rewind all the way back to the beginning or stop exactly where you left off. And if you want it to play from the beginning again, just keep your auto rewind enabled. If you want it, you know, to stop and or to pick up right where you left off, then disable your auto rewind. This is fade in and fade out. I'll show you that in a moment. Fade is enabled. I like my carts to fade out. Then there's the ducking feature. Cool feature. Ducking I keep enabled. And uh, and then there's a loop. You can either loop, the, loop them and it'll run on continuous play or not. Over here on the right is a slider for the volume. And we'll go ahead and click out of this. I'll show you the fade. The actual uh, fade time works better if we play something else. So this is an example of fade. This would be the intro music to my podcast. If you're interested in listening to that, you can catch us on iTunes and um, also on the iPodcaster.com. <laughs> And now you saw the cart fade out. It didn't just automatically stop. And you can set the fade time up here in settings. Notice here that there is a fade time at the bottom right here. You can set that all the way up to 10 seconds if you want to. I usually have it around three, three and a half, somewhere around there. Uh, maybe, maybe more, maybe less, depending on your preferences. The amount of ducking. This is a cool feature. The ducking feature is like this. This is how I open my podcast. And, uh, well, I, I actually, I'm not going to do that. I would just, uh, let's go ahead and do a test recording here. We'll record and, uh, then we'll play something. 
to stop the recording finish notice here that you can name that we'll name it test number two and we'll save the recording over here I can now come in to test two I can play that export that I'll get to that in just a moment this is a really neat feature watch this right here the ducking feature I'll come in and then I'll talk over this so here we go <laughs> Welcome to the iPodcaster, the podcast where I show you the gear, apps, and tools necessary for you to record, edit, and publish high-quality audio podcasts all from your iDevice. Anyway, that's pretty cool. What happens is that's able to, the music ducks down behind your voice, so it drops the volume a little bit where your voice is prominent, and then when you let up off of the microphone button at the bottom, uh, then the music rises back to the level it was. It's really, really neat. Uh, let's go back here up to the corner where this test was. And I'm going to show you how you can export these. This is this is absolutely phenomenal right here. And uh, we'll we'll look look here. Test you you can come up here and click and actually rename this file if you want to. We're not going to rename it. Uh, but down here is you can actually type in a description if you wanted to. We're not going to describe it right now. But then you can play it keep you from that add a photo that's right here uh, I'm sorry then down here is export that's what we want to look at now check out all of the ways that we can export this file notice you can send it by email uh, that's real neat FTP server if you had a uh, Libsyn media hosting you could send this through FTP server right there to Libsyn you see that that is so neat and uh, username password and you can do that with any FTP server upload it right here from the boss check application Audio copy, that is a cool feature. Watch this. We're going to audio copy this test number two. It says file copy to pasteboard. And this is an inner app thing where you can audio copy and audio paste. So now what I will do is I'm going to get out of this application. I'm going to go into ARIA, which, by the way, is another fantastic application, a wave editor. And actually, this is a 48 track, 48 multi track recorder. We're going to load a new project. We won't name it right now. We're going to bring in and add a track. And then we're going to audio paste right here. Now notice we're going to audio paste the file that we just had. Now check this out. This is cool. <laughs> So anyway, that is really, really neat. And audio copy and audio paste, you can actually um, um, export these that way. And that's a really neat feature to have instead of having to upload it to Dropbox and then download it in from another application in Dropbox. So really, really, really neat. Uh, export back again. You can open this in another app. All of the apps that are uh, compatible, say iMovie, uh, Voice Record, Twisted Wave, Aria, Evernote, you could send it to Dropbox or your drive, um, Spreaker Recording Studio. So uh, really, really neat. You can also save it to Dropbox, which is right here. And you can also save it to send it to SoundCloud if you wanted to, or do it by iTunes Share on your computer. So a number of ways. And notice up here that you can do that in MP3 format. Uh, it will convert it for you, or M4A, Wave, or AIFF. And that's in either mono or stereo. And so you have that. Also up here, I, I think I shared in recordings, uh, the uh, ducking time, the attack and release, that's, that's part of your ducking, how quickly uh, the, the music releases, how, um, how quickly it releases so you're, to pick up your voice, uh, et cetera. Attack time, release time, um, also to release you know, and bring the volume back up once you uh, take your phone off, uh, finger off the microphone button. Then over here, I showed you the carts, the setup, three things here. There's a normal buffer. There's a automatic gain. I leave that on normal. That's a latency thing uh, for you to monitor your uh, mix through Boss Jock. Uh, if you put that on a low buffer, you'll see it says setting reduces monitoring latency but may cause pops or dropouts. I leave that on normal. Sometimes that can be an issue. Um, I have no problem right now monitoring my voice through the headphone jack of my iPad. 
And so I just leave it, leave it at normal. Automatic gain control. Oh goodness, leave that off. O F F. Don't turn that on because what happens is the application tries to do an automatic gain control. When your voice is low, it tries to raise it a little bit. When it's high, it tries to lower it and it thinks it can do a better job than you can do in post uh, when you edit your, your show. And so just leave it off. You want to have full control over the gain mix that is uh, when, when you edit. Then tracking, I don't like anybody tracking my data, so I keep close. I like the government out of my stuff, by the way. Even though Boss Jock's not the government, I don't like anybody tracking my stuff. That's just another thing I'll share with you. Anyway, this is a cool app. Over here on the right, I think the last thing we'll look at is um, you can see the mix, the full mix button right here. And we'll show you that you can bring the full mix level up or down. That's the mix of your voice and the music. Also, here is the mic level. You can raise or lower your mic level. I usually keep that about halfway. Also, here is the gain level. And the gain level is either, you can see the needles jumping around. The gain level, I try to keep it low, about a quarter of the way. Why do I leave it that way? Well, the higher you go, the more hiss that you get in the background. And I try to eliminate as much of the hiss as you possibly can so that you're not listening to, to, to all this, you know, hiss and hum. And then, of course, the mic button, I usually keep it about halfway. And that's a good setting for me. You can play around with that. Also, there's a cart feature where you can raise or lower the level of the individual carts that are being played. And so, anyway, really, really, really neat thing with Boss Jock. And, of course, down here, you can lock the microphone in place. You can lock that in place if you want to. and uh, Or you can just hold the button down if you want to. You know, totally up to you. And uh, so, anyway, this is a really, really awesome application for, uh, for iOS. This works on the iPhone and the iPod Touch as well as the iPad. And uh, it's just kind of a great all-in-one studio that you're able to import your intros, outros, bumpers, music, voicemails, whatever you want to put inside these carts. I mean, I even have some some other things. Uh, here you what go. What we've got here is failure to communicate. So anyway. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Yeah, great movie. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think I want to go watch that. <laughs> but anyway, that's a whole nother discussion. But you get you can bring in music, intros, sound effects, on and on and on, and use that with this application. So it is a phenomenal way for you to have kind of an all-in-one studio. That's what I do ninety, probably ninety-five percent of my podcasting with is with the Boss Jack application. And so uh, you're going to want to make sure that you get a hold of that and do that. I tell you what, I've enjoyed this today, and I hope that you have uh, gained some knowledge on the Boss Jock application for iOS. If you would like to uh, give me a question or feedback or comments, don't hesitate to reach me on Twitter anytime, at the iPodcaster. And yes, that is spelled exactly how it sounds, at the iPodcaster. And that would be a great way for you and I to converse about the Boss Shock application. I try to answer every question that's sent to me that I had. Listen, if I don't have the answer, I'll get you the answer. There's no shame in that for me. That's how we learn. And so if I don't have the answer, I'll find the answer out for you. I hope that you'll come visit us at the iPodcaster.com. Until next time, I want to share with you that there's only one way to peace with God, and that is through his only son, the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ.